Molly's Magical Tooth by Jenna Buckman and Laura Carlton. Right, let's see about the tooth. Molly had a loose tooth. I can't wait for it to fall out because then I'm going to wear it around my neck and show it to all my friends, Molly said. Molly lost her tooth. Mommy told her to put it under her pillow so the tooth fairy could pick it up at night. But Molly wanted to wear it around as a neck that necklace Mommy gave her. Uh-oh. Necklace or under the pillow. Should I give it to the tooth fairy? Molly whispered to Teddy. I wonder what she does with all the teeth. She must have thousands in her fairy home. Does she collect them in sparkling jars? I'd love to meet her. Hmm, what does the tooth fairy do? Hmm, good question. Molly was sweet when she heard a quiet, achoo! She woke up and her eyes widened. Was it the tooth fairy? What was it? Let's see. Good evening, Molly. I'm Miss Pearl World, the Tooth Fairy. Sorry I woke you. Molly couldn't believe her eyes. Hello, Miss Pearl World. Please, I want to keep my tooth. But what happens to teeth when you take them? Good question. Miss Pearl World looked at Molly. We have a problem in Magic Land, she said. Would you like to come with me and help us? The answer to your question depends on an important decision you have to make. Yes, please, Molly laughed. <laughs> Miss Pearl Whirl smiled and blew off a soft whistle. Whoosh. Let's see where they go. With the sound of Miss Pearl Whirl's whistle, two unicorns dashed through the air. Molly and Miss Pearl World hopped into the carriage and flew off into the night. Wow, you see those unicorns? Wow. Here they go, to Magic Land. Magic Land was amazing. Molly saw lovely meadows, toadstool houses, and fairy gardens by the river. A giant rainbow stretched over the land. But why was the rainbow gray? Hmm, missing something. Missing color. Our magic rainbow has lost its color. And all our magical happiness is gone, Miss Pearlwell explained. Let me show you. They visited the unicorns. Hi, Molly. We've lost the joy to jump around, they said. Poor unicorns. How can we get the colors of the magical rainbow back? Molly asked Miss Pearl World. See the no color unicorn? Next, they visited Mr. Stubby Toes, the, lepre the leprechaun. Hi, Molly. I can't see the colorful end of the rainbow anymore, he said sadly. That means I can't find my pot of gold. Poor Mr. Stubby Toes, how can we get the colors of the magical rainbow back? Molly asked Miss Pearl Whirl. See the leprechaun? Next, they visited the river fairies. Hi, Molly. We can't play with our rainbow fish friends. They have disappeared, the river fairies told us. Poor river fairies. How can we get the colors of the magic rainbow back? Molly asked Miss Pearl Whirl. See the fairy. Please, Miss Pearl Whirl, everybody looks so sad, said Molly. How can I help get the colors back? Come with me, Molly. I'll show you something magical. You're the only one who can help us. But you'll need to give me your tooth, Miss Pearl World told her. Her tooth? 
Molly hesitated. How could her tooth help Magic Clan? With a deep sigh, she took off her necklace and gave it to Miss Pearl Wall. She gave it. They soared through the air and soon landed in a field of beautiful flowers. The sweet smell tickled Molly's nose. Some flowers jiggled and waved in the wind, tickled like bells and sprinkled twinkle dust. But a lot of flowers stood still. Wow, see all the flowers? Watch! Miss Pearl World, said Miss Pearl World, she placed Molly's tooth on the ground. A beautiful pink flower grew up out of it. It swayed in the warm wind and the little sparkles danced through the air. Children are very special, Miss Pearl World explained. Their imaginations make glitter the flower dust. It brings color and joy to our world. But when children stop using their imagination, the two flowers can't sprinkle magic dust. Then our colors start to disappear. Wow. See the two? That became a flower? We need a special child with a lot of imagination like you to help us. Close your eyes and think about a rainbow in the brightest colors you can imagine. Let's see what happens. What colors make a rainbow, Molly thought aloud. Red as rich as a juicy apple. Orange as bright as a pumpkin. Yellow as shiny as a yummy pear. Green as gorgeous as a clover. Pink as pretty as my favorite dress. Blue as brilliant as the sky. Purple as lovely as a velvety velvet. Ting-a-ling! Molly heard the sound of bells and opened her eyes. See all the colors? I did it! Molly laughed. I brought back the rainbow with my imagination. You did, Miss Pearl World smiled. And all the other two flowers have woken up too. You have done something wonderful. Would you like to visit your friends again? All the colors back. They stopped by the river fairies. Thanks for bringing back our rainbow, Molly. Our rainbow fish friends are here to play. They stopped by Mr. Stubby Toes. Thanks for bringing back our rainbow, Molly. I found my pot of gold at its end. Uh, see the river fairies and the leprechaun? They stopped by the unicorns. Thanks for bringing back our rainbow, Molly. We can have fun jumping around our meadow again. A happy smile spreads across Molly's face, but her eyes felt very heavy, and she missed Teddy. She was wondering how she would get back home when she heard a whisper. Use your imagination. Wow, look at the unicorns. A pink flower in the magic land gave a jinkle tinkle and colorful flower dust swirled all around. The next thing Molly knew, she had to imagine her way home. Yay! <laughs>